kids, I'm Hyla. Welcome to Hyla Cooking. Today I've got on my Easter 80s vest because I'm going to show you how to make strawberry shortcakes. But we have a totally cute little fantastic twist. I'm going to show you how to make the little shortcakes so they're shaped like bunny heads with little ears. Aww. Okay, first we're going to make the shortcake part. In my bowl, I have my dry ingredients. I'm just going to whisk that together. And so we're making kind of what's called cream biscuits. Um, <clears throat> because we use heavy cream as the fat and the liquid portion. I'm just going to pour most of this in. I want to reserve a little bit for brushing atop my lovely biscuits. So you were looking for, we're going to probably use like 15 tablespoons, like just almost a cup. That varies a little bit, like biscuits do depending on your humidity and the age of your flour and all that junk. All right, so this is kind of coming together now into a very loose ball. I'm gonna flour my countertop here. Kind of plop it out. Pull it together. And just like when you make biscuits, um, if you've watched the biscuit video, you don't want to overwork this dough. It's also kind of like pie crust. You want to be really careful with it but we do need to knead it just enough to get it into like a, a ball. So less than 30 seconds. This is already coming together. It's kind of starting to feel like Play-Doh. Now I think it's good to roll. If you don't have a rolling pin, you can totally just um, use like a wine bottle or a whiskey bottle or just pat it out with your hands if you're clean living. Maybe like half an inch thick, a little bit bigger. Gosh, my hair's going wacky today. It's like Gene Wilder over here. All right, now I've just got my little kooky cutter. So hopefully I can get four little bunny heads out of here. When you press down, you want to just press down and then pick it back up. Don't twist it because then your biscuits won't rise um, like they're supposed to. So just get it as close together as possible. And if you wanted to just make little regular shortcakes and skip the bunny head thing, that would also be fine. It won't hurt my feelings a bit. All right, now and then here's where it gets a little artistic. So we're gonna kind of use this to cut out some um, ovoid shapes for little bunny ears. So by just kind of like making overlapping circles. So there's, we'll start with that. I'm just gonna kind of like estimate about a third a little less than a, well, a third's good. Kind of like that. Overlap it, and then you end up with a little shape like this. And that's going to um, be your little bunny ear. So it's a lot of estimating, but, you know, bear with me. It's the holiday season, after all. Okay, so we're trying to get eight little bunny ears out of these circles. And then we could do, oh, I wonder if I could get three out of one. Totally can. Check that out. Now we're getting efficient. Now, with the rest of my, good grief, with the rest of my heavy cream, I'm just gonna like brush each one of these with a little bit of that. This is gonna help us glue our bunny ears onto our bunny heads. All right, now, bunny ear, just kinda boop, squish it like that. Get a little of that cream on there. Squish it like that. This is kind of like if you ever took like a pottery class in high school or something. And then, and this cream is also going to kind of give it a really nice shiny brown um, top. It'll look real cute. So, oops, try not to get it all over the baking sheet, but whatever. Okay. And the crowning glorious touch on these little bad boys before we put them in the oven is a little bit of raw sugar. And it's just a large granulated sugar that'll kind of just give them a, a nice little texture, a little extra touch of sweetness, make them a little special. And these would be like a fun dessert or even like an Easter morning breakfast. That'd be fun for little kiddos. It's got strawberries in it for crying out loud. It's healthy. Boop, boop. All right. Put these in the oven now. Look how cute. Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> My little bunnies are cooked and 
while they're still warm, I want to go ahead and split it. And if the ears come off, then, you know, it's not the end of the world. Um, split it like that. And then here I've got my strawberries that I just um, cut up thinly and mixed with some brown sugar and some vanilla. And that's kind of my little secret ingredients there I just told you. It makes it taste really extra yummy. And we just want to use some of the juice. And I used fresh strawberries. If you want to use frozen ones, you can do that, but keep in mind it's going to be a whole lot juicier once they thaw. But the sugar pulls out the, the juices and makes it nice and fun. And then I've got the, like about half a cup of the rest of the whipped cream that I've just kind of done to soft peaks. It's not going to get as stiff as like um, if you were like beating egg whites, but pretty stiff. And then just added like a little bit of sugar so we can kind of plop a little bit of that in there. And look how cute! Tell me you're not going to be so excited to get that on Easter or any time. Alright, now I'm going to destroy it. I'm going to maul this bunny and eat it. Mmm. Mmm. Good. That is yummy as hell. I promise. Alright, I hope you try it. Um, happy Easter, and if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Peace, dudes! Those bunny ears, what's up? <laughs>